answer. You're live now. like last year, what I'm going to start, I have 28 bodies in front of us there, and thank goodness they're all masked. I think this pre-signing up thing really worked out well, because uh, anybody who paints can tell you that it takes longer to mask than it actually does to paint. Uh, I want to thank everybody that signed up. Um, the best way for me to teach, though, really is to do a body from uh, basically it's completely clear. The only thing I did do is I did put some wheel dots in there, which... Um, for retro, it doesn't really matter, but I think it helps me when I mount my bodies because I can uh, tell where the front wheels at least are and uh, get a good thing. I'm going to do, um, last year I did the exact body that I run. Um, this year, actually, I'm just going to do Bill Fulmer's body, uh, or body that he requested. I'm going to do Bill's body basically because I think he's a great guy, and when I'm at work, and I want to look at like last year's winner's car or the Penn Ohio or anything that Bill's there, there's tons of pictures up and I think that's a great service that he does. Uh, so really no, no better person to do a nice body for, um, in my opinion, than Bill. Um, I always start first by just um, going to have to mask the window. Just take a, uh, any kind of Sharpie or a Parma pen. And again, it doesn't have to be exact, but I always um, outline it just because that way I can see. As I get older, the harder it is for me to see, um, especially with the masks or where this tape ends. Um, I personally don't use the masks that come with the bodies uh, just because they're one piece, and especially these bodies that have, some of them have already been masked for a week. Uh, they're gonna, it's going to start coming through, and I don't want any bleed. I don't even really uh, worry about tearing the tape uh, completely straight. And all I'm doing is going by the out, the outer edge of the window. I do two of those. black uh, line that I put down, just go within the lines. I usually use at least three different exactos. one of them brand new, very sharp. The duller ones I use to get underneath the mask and remove the mask. So then I'm just going to cut the sharpie line. And then again, to save time, I actually use these pieces. I actually have a little bit of a clear area. Uh, why cut a new piece of tape when you can just use these and put it down, like with this one? Um, again, by getting to do 28 bodies, and I've probably painted a lot of bodies, <coughs> thank goodness. Um, and then for the pipes, again, to make it easy, quick, uh, the Sharpie sells a paint pen. Um, Copper, but instead of having to use a paintbrush, getting all that stuff dirty, and you can buy these. You can just buy regular sharpies. They have them silver. They have these gold. Just paint the pipes really quick. Really easy to do. Boom, pipes are done. Moving on then to masking. Um, my favorite thing to use is the flames. Uh, Parma sells slot flames, and we also sell our sea flames. We sell a lot of masks. It's amazing um, how much masking material we actually get in. 
Um, again, just uh, find a piece that you want to use. Press it off. And another thing nice about flames is it doesn't necessarily have to be symmetrical at all. Lay it in. Push one area down. Because it is very important that it does get down and get down nice and smooth. You always want to make special care wherever there is a, a um, bend in the body. Like always this thing here always bleeds, so you always want to make sure it's nice and crisp. Push it down as good as possible. Grab another piece. Now another thing that I do have been doing on my body, I think probably two years ago or so, is that the checkerboard on the side, which a lot of people I really think that's nice looking. It's really a checkered flag type design. And to do that, all I use is the thin tape. And again, it doesn't have to be uh, perfect at all. But you do want it to be straight. Basically, two rows. <laughs> and our tape, um, anybody that paints any kind of uh, clear Lexan bodies, you need to get a good tape. The tape you can buy at hardware stores, even if it's the special blue masking tape, it ain't the right stuff going to bleed and finger and uh, leave like all kinds of ugly bleeds. Again, this is where it's important to have a good sharp exacto knife. And again, I don't bother measuring anything. I just want them to be approximately a half inch, five or three quarter inches. And I just cut them, cut it at an angle. Go up about three quarters of an inch, cut it at an angle. I always start at one, and if you start in the middle, and I have messed up before where you, you um, actually peel off the wrong part, obviously you want to go every other one. We can save it. Finish this body completely, all colors, and you know, and then I'm going to go on to do the, all the 28, and all these bodies I have here in front of me to my left all need black first. So I'm going to do a lot of black outlining on those. Uh, not with Bill's body, but I am going to use some stencils, not masks. Uh, while I do those. I'm also going to paint a t-shirt while I do those. I really appreciate the fact that Mike has completed this here and it's great. I was, I've been doing it for the Penn Ohio series for um, some time and actually nobody even asked me to do it this year. But, uh, I think this is the best base because there's a lot. It's a good crowd. And I'm, I really think that when it comes down, right down to airbrush skills, I probably really only possess about mm, 30 to 40 percent. The average guy, guy that uh, airbrushes uh, t-shirts at a fair or something like that, those guys that can do lettering, they're way better than you. <coughs> um, I'm going to put another flame here. And another important thing that I want to show people, because sometimes
sometimes they don't really understand how to go about making the flame look like one piece. So you see here where I got two of the masks, but there's really, there's a gap there. Uh, but I want the sort of the whole nose to be the part of the flame. And you, uh, you just got to connect the flames with uh, masking tape. So you, I actually even made it go that way, so it sort of flows with the flame. Got to fill a little bit in there. Yes. So you can see though, you know, there's a sort of a weird thing. Just got to go in there and make that look like a nice loop. And again, you know, it's a flame. Nobody's going to know um, but you if you mess up or uh, so that should look nice. Um, I also, when I paint, uh, I also like to highlight around the numbers. So now's the time I usually put on the numbers. And when I airbrush, you'll see what I mean by highlight the numbers. But sure. No, the numbers I'm using are made by a gentleman that used to work for Pharma named Mike Muir. A uh, real nice guy. He will do any kind of stickers or numbers that you guys want. Uh, and if you want uh, his phone number, you know, see me afterwards, and I was glad to give you, because he told me I could, I asked for business cards, because he's doing it as a living now. He's uh, doing like, uh, tow trucks. But I, as a side note, he does uh, Cap Henry's numbers, Dave Smirka's numbers, Greg Crumnow's numbers, he's done my numbers for years. Uh, any, any color, yes, he, yes. also do side stripes, especially on um, this track that we're racing on this weekend is a black track. Um, without a bright car, I would be lost. I drive worse than I already drive. And again, we're not trying to do, I don't try to make, uh, I don't measure anything. I just stick it on and go, okay, I'm about a quarter of an inch here, so I try to do that on the other side. start uh, with the trim line you can see exactly where that is don't have to be right on the trim line right on the angle right back, about a quarter inch. The tape you're using is that actually it is uh, to me a tape it's also parma tape uh, parma does sell it you know, we buy it right from tape and actually they even make a wider one this wide. And chances are we're going to get it too because obviously we sell a lot of stuff. So really, there it is. It's the uh, body basically ready to paint um, with black. I'm going to do black first. I should have wrote. I believe it's uh, he wants um, what is it? Uh, red, white, and yellow. Um, so <laughs> So I'm going to do black, and you know, when I do black, I'm just going to shoot this all black so it gets to be a, a checker, but you know, white and black. I'll fog in this area, and then aim uh, for half, half of the, uh, the stripes so I fade that in. Yeah, right out of the bottle. Some people, um, I'm also going to be doing pressure today. Um, a lot of times if I was, if I wanted, if I wanted less uh, fogging or less, or turn my pressure down, when you start thinning our paint, what you lose is the adhesion to the lexus. Um, I would only at the most put like a cap full, and I always recommend just regular water. We do sell a thinner and also cleaner that you could also do. So around the flames, well, what I always do is I always start, you know, you don't really know how your airbrushes work. 